Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Super Mario 64. Now, we've had a look at most of the new worlds that we have now. But I think we might go back to He's Me's Cave and actually have a longer look at that. Since we barely touched the surface on it. And let me talk to Toad one more time. Hold on to your hat, yes. Okay, that's... What's sure all he has to say then? Okay then. Let's head back in. We already know what to do for the star. So, let's just go. And also, we also have the metal cap here which we can grab. It, it does mean we can go through fire without taking damage, but we don't really need to be able to go through fire, so... There's also a star up there on the top of this room that we can't really get from here. Let's just go through... Oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure you can still get hit by these, but you don't take damage. Yes. Ow. Oh my goodness. Let me... Let me get through. Let me get through. Whenever a, but one of the boulders goes into a wall, they'll usually stick along that wall. If they can. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's head down. Oh dear. That's, that's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. I'm good. <gasps> I'm fine. <laughs> I couldn't do anything because I fell off of the the thing while I was holding the edge. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go find Dory. Sorry to do this to you, but I need that star. Hang on. There we go. You can also see lots of objects in the sky from here, which is a little bit strange. But, fairly normal. Let's just grab the star and go. Here we go. Well, there we go. But I think we're going to go head back in because we haven't had a look at the other side of the world, the level yet. The world, I guess? I don't know. Elevate for eight red coins. That's a fairly good one to get out of the way, I guess. So... Let's head this way now. There's fire coming out of the pits, but that's not really a thing you need to worry about. Especially over here. Or, well, especially back there. But this pit over here, you need to actually avoid the fire if you don't have the metal cap on. Otherwise, you're not probably not going to be jumping over the pits. Work elevator. For those who get off here, grab the pole to the left and slide carefully down. Okay, let's grab this pole and go down. Whenever you get to the end of the pole, or the ground, you just pop off. Just like that. And this is actually the room we need to be to get the red coins. We don't need to actually... Well, there is still more to the level, that's what I'm trying to say, not whatever I was trying to say before. So... There's still another part of the cave that we haven't even been to yet. Hazy Maze, exit. Danger. Closed. Turn back now. So the name of the level is Hazy Maze Cave, but we haven't even been to the part of the level that is Hazy Maze Cave. We haven't been to the Hazy Maze. Anyway. There's another sign. There's two more signs. Oh my goodness, so many signs. Above. Automatic elevator. Uh, elevator begins automatically and follows preset course. It disappears automatically too. Okay. Oh, please read the sign. Don't actually grab onto it. Work elevator danger. Read instructions thoroughly. Elevator continues in the direction of the arrow you activated. Okay, sorry, let's get up here. And now, we have this platform here. And it will move in the direction that we press down the arrow for. So, let's try to get through here. And there are, I believe, four red coins on this level that we need to get. Which I believe some of them are in these boxes. But not all of them are in these boxes. Or maybe they are. Most of them, at least. These eyeballs here are a little bit difficult to fight, though. Here. I'll change that that way. And then try to grab that. And then the last one on this level is over here. I fell off before jumping. Oh my goodness. Anyway. That's basically all we have to do. We just need to not fall off when we're on the elevator. 
If the if you're too if you're not on the elevator when it's not in its default position, it will flash out of existence and then respawn over here. So anyway, let's just do this then. I wish the camera would auto adjust itself all the time. At least not as much as it is. Okay, we need to be very careful jumping across here. Okay, we should be good now. I'm just gonna let it go a little bit further than necessary. Just so I'm being safe. I believe if it actually hits a wall, it'll start going in the opposite direction after a few seconds. So, yeah, if that hits the wall, it will start going in the opposite direction. Anyway, let's jump off of that carefully. And let's head up this way again, because there's still four more red coins that we need to get that we haven't even seen yet. So, let's push this right up against the wall and then head towards this pole over here. I don't even know if we can actually make it across all the way, but we can jump across if we need to. And now, if we go up here, there's a little platform. And this platform here may look familiar to us as an elevator, but this one will follow along these dots that have appeared. So we just need to stand on top of it and not fall off, which is fairly easy to do. But there will be a few obstacles like that box, and I believe some bats are in front of us as well, possibly. Which shouldn't be too hard to avoid. But also these platforms here, which we need to get that uh, red coin on top of anyway, so... Just need to jump across and be careful not to fall off. Oh, I fell. Oh my goodness. That's okay. Oh my goodness, please. There we go. We can also pray a long jump. Nope. Not with a half a second delay, we can't. It's just me who has this half a second delay, though. Now, let me focus everything. Okay, that didn't... That just doesn't work because of weird angles. Okay. Well, that's okay, then. I won't blame the game too much. I promise. Maybe. Oh my goodness. Now I'm getting annoyed. Also, just as an interesting thing, whenever something goes wrong, like, for some reason, basically everyone who plays this game blames Mario for whatever, whenever something bad happens. Which is probably accurate. Anyway, let me try jumping off of that. There we go. That somehow worked this time. Okay. And now, we could long jump over to those that platform over there for the red coins, but I'm going to actually try and actually take the elevator. Since I I want to not be... I don't, I don't want this elevator to beat me. I believe... I believe I can do it. This is a good song as well. Okay, jump. And jump. Okay, good. Very good. Now, don't accidentally walk off, because otherwise you we will have to restart start again. Except you still get to keep your red coins, which is probably the best part about it. Let's grab these last two. And there's the star, which we probably want to actually be careful going down for. We can probably jump off here, though, onto this platform down here to be safe. And then just hop off. Like that. There we go. Now that we have 28 stars, we only need four more to get to the next Bowser level. But I think I'm actually going to go back to an older level, in back in the first areas, to try and clean that up a little bit, since we can. So let's go do that. We still have to get 100 coins in each of the levels, except for Warmth's Fortress. But yeah. So, let me think. Which one do I want to do? I kind of want to do... Oh, there's a lot of ones I want to do. Let's do Bob and Battlefield.
Find the 8 red coins. That should be fairly simple enough. And I guess while I'm here, I'll also get the 100 coins, so... Let's get those three. Let's get this one. Also, if this box hits one of the enemies, they will get killed by it, so... Oh wow, it's not even gonna... Is it gonna hit the wall? If it hits the wall at, like, tiny... like, the slowest speed, I'm pretty sure it will still break. Please? Oh, it's still moving slightly, but it's not gonna make it, so let me just grab that and then... Throw that from a little bit of further away so it doesn't have to break and spread the coins too much. Because depending on how fast it's going, I believe it spreads the coins out more. Which we don't really want. So let's grab all those. And this Goomba has no idea what it's doing right now. Okay, let's grab that. And actually, I realized something that's a bit of a problem with this level. So let's actually head up the mountain to start off. If you're gonna get the 100 coins, there's not enough coins on the ground for you. So we need to head up to the floating island. Just gonna shoot there, and hopefully not fall into the pit. Don't fall in the pit! No, we were so close to actually just sliding up. That's a shame. Anyway, let's just long jump a little bit. Oh, we'll avoid that. You can also jump over the walls if you need to. If you time your jumps just right. Okay. So, if we go over here, into this cannon. We're gonna want to shoot to the floating island. Because, whenever you grab the 100th coin, the, the star will spawn right above you. And we don't want it to spawn in mid-air, so let's get some of these coins to straight away from the air. Now whenever we shoot out of a cannon with a wind cap, it'll fling us up a little bit. And actually, we got all... We actually managed to get this star to appear that we weren't supposed to know about yet. Just from collecting all of the coins like that. That's the, probably been the easiest shot I've ever had to get all those coins, for some reason. But anyway, we should have actually have enough... Um, what's that called? We should have enough coins from the air now, to actually get 100 coins. Also, if you're holding down the A button while you have the wing cap, you won't take damage from falling because Mario's jump is slower when he's got the wings because they flap a little bit as you're holding the jump button. Anyway, let's get rid of some of these Goombas and then get the rest of the 8 red coins. And then we're probably going to want to get the last few stars in this level as well since we already know basically where all of them are. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Oh my goodness, that Koopa Trooper. Oh my goodness, Koopa Trooper, get back here. He will run away from you, which makes things difficult. But you can try to hurt him a little bit. Ow. There we go, there we go. Nice. Let's just see if I can... get some more coins. We're almost halfway there, so we're doing pretty well. I don't know if I want to keep this shell with me too much. Oh, it's gone anyway. Okay, grab the coin in the middle. Grab the coin in the middle. Grab that. There we go. Okay, let's go. Oh, I need to get this coin here still. So let's go ahead and grab that. Okay, and we can probably get the ones from these bob -ombs as well. You really need basically as many coins as you can get. Also, if two bob -ombs chasing you run into each other, they will explode, dropping both of their coins at the same time. But it's fairly difficult to get that to actually happen. Let me try with this one. And this one. Yeah, like that. They touched each other while they were about to explode, and so they exploded. Anyway, we need to head up back up now. We still need quite a few more coins. Now, I wonder if I can take the elevator for speed. I guess that works. Let's go past here. Those logs that we saw in the pasture should be good for getting, giving us more coins that we need. So, let's go over here and grab these red coins as well. Oh my goodness, I need to be careful not to accidentally grab that star because I'm not trying to get that star at the moment, but yeah. We already know how to get it, and I could even just not even worry about collecting it on screen. 
since we already did everything for it, I could just skip ahead for it. Although I want to see the name of the star and just show how easy it is to get, although we've already done that, I don't know. It gets complicated, anyway. Let's do this, a whole bunch, and then, please, it's a little bit hard to do with half a second delay, you need to be right along the edge. Oh my goodness, okay. Please, 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 there we go. Gives us quite a few coins from that. We can also just pound it into the ground to, uh, show that we've already collected the coins from that, just, just so we remember. Also, if you pound it into the ground, you can't get the coins from it. So you have to make sure you spin around it first, before pounding it into the ground. There we go, very nice. Gotta go all those. Now we're at 75 coins. Three quarters of the way there. And that's not quite enough yet though, so we're gonna have to keep going. 80 coins. Four fifths of the way there. Okay, let's blow that up. Grab those coins. Where's the other one going? It's going, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's going. There we go. Okay, there's also quite a few good spots to get coins as well. So, like, over here. Usually if you can find, like, a ring of coins or a line of coins, those are going to be good for bringing up the numbers. We also still need to collect the rest of the red coins, since that's the star we're trying to get. And I think I can actually just pretty much leave the rest of the coins for now and just get the rest of what I need in red coins. How many red coins do I have? Oh my goodness, coin come back. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I need one more red coin, so I need, like, four more regular coins. Which shouldn't be too hard to do. Oh my goodness, pain. I'm fine. Okay, the last two coins from these bob arms here. Oh my goodness, that sign is making them get very stuck. For some reason. There we go. Now to go get that last red coin, which is on the slope. Oh my goodness, okay. So as you can see, the rest of the coins are fine once you get the ones that are in the air. But if you get the last coin, the 100th coin in the air, it will spawn the star in the air, which means you have to actually shoot out of a cannon for it. Oh, oh, I need to, I forgot I need to grab that as well while I'm on the slope. Oh my goodness. I may have just ruined myself when I was just talking about making it easier. Luckily, we can jump and then kick to try and stay up in the air a little bit more. So we can jump up backwards for a little bit of the slope, but not all the way. Anyway, there's that one. Now let's go get the eight red coin star, because that one's probably the harder one to get than the the, the one that we got from the coins in the sky. And so we want to get the one that's harder to get first, so we can get the one that's easier second. I only have two more uh, stars left to get in Bob and Battlefield. So let's go get another one now. Oh, so you've recovered 30 power stars. Now you can open the door with the big star, but before you move on, how's it going otherwise? Did you pound the two columns down? You didn't lose your hat, did you? If you did, you'll have to stomp on the condor to get it back. They say that Bowser has sneaked out of the sea and into the underground. Have you finally cornered him? I don't know, we're gonna find out once we actually get to that star door. I didn't actually realize it was 30 stars, not 32 stars. I guess I was just thinking with the wrong numbers, but that's okay. Let's climb the mountain. I wonder if I'm actually going to make this shot this time. <laughs> It'd be really cool, good if I did. But I'm not feeling extremely confident. Please, 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 thank you. Oh my goodness. Anyway, let's hop into the cannon, please. There we go. I wasn't even trying to get this star last time, so I'm surprised I got it. So let's just... Oh, be careful when we're landing on the ground. Let's see if I can actually get it with one shot again. You don't even need to touch the control stick once you've fired, according to my previous shot, apparently. So let's just aim down. Probably about... I don't actually know. Let me go about there, I guess. Dead center on it. 
and then there we go. Pretty easy. Also, did I read the name? Mario Winks to the Sky is the name of the star. I forgot about actually reading that because that's the whole reason I wanted to actually do it. Anyway, let's hit the wall so we can go down faster. Since I'm having a lot of trouble just going straight down. Oh, it's actually just... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There is no invisible wall to hit. I'm just gonna ground pound because that's probably just gonna be easier. Anyway, let's grab the star. Also, I forget if I've mentioned, but if you grab a star and it takes a level, you get your health back. So there we go, let's get the last star in Bob on Battlefield. Behind Chain Chomp's Gate. So, we can see it from here. It's fairly simple to know what you need to do. But at the same time, I've had experience for my whole life about how to do this. So, once we get near enough to Chain Chomp, we want to get onto his little peg, and we want to slam that into the ground as much as possible before he hits us. And once we do hit it all the way down, he's free to go. And he rewards us with a star as well. He won't be gone forever, whenever you go back to the level he will be back. But now, that is everything in Bolton Battlefield and we never need to go back in there ever again. Kind of sad, but also good to progress. Let's head back downstairs and go see the next Bowser level. But in front of us, we have two things here, one behind the other. So let's go through the first one. And this is not the Bowser level. This is Course 9, Dire Dire Docks. This is why Jolly Rogers Bay is playing the music, which is called Dire Dire Docks, but yeah, it's a bit weird with the naming of things. Anyway, Star 1, Board Bowser's Sub. Once again, the music is good because it's Die Die Docks. You want to be careful of touching the enemies in the water, like the shark. There's also a whirlpool that you want to try and swim away from because that's going to pull you in when you get cl too close to it, so you want to be careful of that. Otherwise, we just go through this tunnel here and follow the arrows. There's a pocket of air up here if you need it. Let's head back down, which takes us into another area. Also, stay away from that... Oh, never mind. I'm, it's fine. There's just a Bowser thing right there on the wall, which is cool. There's also a submarine here, which is the Bowser submarine. So, let's just quickly go over here. And we need to find a way on board because it's too slippery for us to get onto just by default. So I believe we can use this switch to make these blocks appear, which allow us to get on board most of the way, and then we actually have to jump on. Just like that, there we go. And here is the Bowser sub star. Pretty simple. Here we go. Once you grab Bowser, board Bowser sub star, the, the level entrance moves back. And now we can go into this hole. And now, welcome to Bowser in the Fire Sea. It looks a lot like Lethal, lethal Lava Land, but we need to be careful because we don't want to get burned in the lava. Or we'll jump off of that because that's going to go into the lava. So we can't stay on it all the time. Ow! 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 Oh, I'm fine. Okay, cool. Now, go across here quickly, 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 go, don't push me off, don't push me off, ow, 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 ow. Okay, let's try to get you view, please, please, please. Go in the lava, oh my goodness, why are you not going in the lava? Ah, pain! Luckily, there's a heart right here for us to heal. There are Grimms around it, but they're not that much of a problem. 
considering we just took out two by comboing them. Now we want to go across here, because once again there are also red coins to collect. Jump over that, be careful not to fall in. Or go too far, because if you go too far you'll probably, you'll probably be in trouble. Now, this platform here is going up and down, but so is the pole on it. So let's try jumping up there. Some coins. Not exactly what we need, but we can jump across here. And there's a red coin here that we need to grab. There we go. Gonna up this pole. These platforms still left and right, so you need to be careful on where you stand on them. Oh, a free one up? Wow. There's also a red coin up there we can backflip for. And now, we have a little elevator here which we want to step on and then step off again. Because there's a red coin just underneath it that we need to fall down for. So there we go. Now let's head back up there. So let's do a bit of that. Just going to show this tilting. Just to show that it is, it is actually tilting. And now, let's actually use the elevator if I can figure out which direction the camera is. Press the wrong way. And it's going to take us up to the next level. Because there's still a lot to go. Okay, fire spewer. Gonna go past that on the moving platform. And now this slope is a bit steep, so you want to make sure you keep running up all the way. And up here should be a red coin. And a bully trying to knock me off, but I'm too fast for him. Let's just get off here, please. I'm gonna be careful going down the slope because it will push you into the lava. And now this uh, thing here, if we jump and keep holding the A or the jump button, we'll actually grab onto and we can actually move ourselves across like this. And let go again. So let, let go. Okay. We're doing well. Got some more bullies. I'm just going to walk past them. Now this looks like there's a box here. I'm going to try and get that if I can. This platform is going up and down. Like a... Like a spring type kind of thing. This one doesn't run away from us, but we do need to actually get it. Now, am I crazy? Where's the next red coin? I need the next red coin. I think this is this shadow here is the next red coin. Let's go ahead and grab that. And now, if we can make it up to the next area up here. And then jump up there quickly. We are still not at the end yet. But we're getting a little bit closer. There's still... F yeah. We have a little bit left to go. There's no 100 coin stars in the Bowser levels, luckily. Oh, careful, 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 careful. Oh my goodness. Ow, careful, 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 careful. Okay, let's grab that red coin. Ah! Oh, careful, 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 careful. Okay, we're good. There's another, another heart here for healing, which is good. So let's do that, and let's go into this next bit here. So we've got these platforms going up and down with poles in them. We want to get through, and if we can, we get the last red coin. And now, I think we want to head back. Ow, 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 this is a bad place. Bumping off of walls is not good when you're on fire. But I think while we're here, we can wall jump between these two blocks, if I can time half a second delay. And there's a box up here, with a one-up in it, and if we can... Either long jump across or jump across or just slowly crawl across this little platform here. We can get the red coin star for Bowser from the Lava Sea. Here we go. And now, we can actually go across the top here. We'll go under again to make it back to where we were. And now, this bridge is going to collapse. Let's run across quickly. And let's jump into this, which is a warp. Pestering me again, are you, Mario? Can't you see that I'm having a merry little time making mischief with my minions? Now, return those stars. My troops in the walls need them, Bwahaha. Bowser's gonna jump, which makes the level stage flip. You can't grab him while it's moving. And also, don't ground pound, because you will... There's, there's a thing that will push you through the ground if you... 
ground pound while he's doing that. He will charge it if you, at you if you get too far away. And Bowser also has the ability... Oh, come on, Bowser. Work with me here. Bowser also has the ability now, while we're trying to get behind him. Breathe fire still. Oh, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Oh my goodness, that fire's homing now. But Bowser also can teleport. Just a little bit. Okay, let's try to get behind him and actually grab him now. It's the same as the first fight, just need to throw him into one of the bombs. You can slowly also move him closer and closer to a bomb and then just throw him at it from like a, a, just a tiny step away, so. Oh, I missed. If he falls off, you're gonna have to run from him because he's gonna make the platform tilt again. Oh my goodness, careful, 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 careful. And I hope I don't die. If you do die, you it's the, the same as the previous fight where it just sends you out just before the warp inside, so. Let's just do that. Please touch, nope. Oh my goodness, run away. The Bowser toss is usually pretty difficult, which is why last time I was surprised to get it by accident when I was actually trying to just throw him off the edge. If he goes off the edge, he just jumps back on, so that's what I was trying to show with last time, but I didn't, wasn't able to because he, I beat him too fast. Oh, Bowser, stop teleporting. I need to get behind you. It's a very tight turn to get around him without touching him. Oh my goodness, how did that miss? This is unfortunate. Okay, good, 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 good. Don't want to be too far away from him, otherwise he's got to charge at me. Oh my goodness. Okay, just hang on. Just wait, don't want to accidentally kill myself. Oh, as he's teleporting, oh my goodness. Come on, Bowser. Oh my goodness, right next to the edge is not good for you because you can't grab him from off the edge. This might work, this might work, this might work, this might work. Come on, Bowser. Work with me here. Oh, come on. Okay, and now let's time this as best I can with a half a second delay. And once again, it's only one bomb to beat him. Oh, ah! Can it be that I've lost? The power of the stars has failed me this time. Consider this a draw. Next time, I'll be in the perfect, in, in perfect condition. Now, if you want to see your precious princess, come to the top of the tower. I'll be waiting. Gwahaha. <laughs> So there we go. Well, let's grab yet another key. So there we go. And now we have another key. We've only seen one other locked door that we can go through. So you pr I'm pretty sure you know what we're supposed to do next. Let's head back up the stairs. And... We can now access the upper floor. Heading towards the tower. So yeah, now we have some more worlds to look at. And yeah. More requirements to get to the next area, which I believe the, st the next star door is up here. And how many does it need? 50 stars. We need 16 more. That's pretty good, though. We'll probably get those stars fairly quickly. But that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.